everyone thought they knew the whole story of Drake and Meek Mill's wild beef a few years ago. But the truth behind their war is crazier than anyone could have guessed. It all allegedly started with Drake hooking up with DJ Drama's wife, and now Drama's allegedly getting hands put on him in Toronto by Drake fans. Recently, DJ Drama allegedly had his chain snatched in Toronto and was left bleeding in the club. But before we break down just how crazy the situation is, we have to go back to 2015 and understand how it even got to this point. Meek Mill and Drake were always cool back in the day, but in July 2015, Meek dropped a bomb on the rap game. Meek had just released his Dreams Worth More Than Money album and had a Drake feature on the track Rico, but fans were confused because Drake never promoted the project. It turns out that there was some crazy drama going on behind the scenes, and Meek started airing part of the story out on social media. He hopped on Twitter to tell fans to stop comparing him to Drake, then shocked everyone by saying, he don't write his own raps, that's why he ain't tweet my album, because we found out. On the Rico track, Drake said, Always new women, gotta keep a balance. The girl of your dreams to me is probably not a challenge. And Meek thought he was sending a subliminal shot at first. But after he found out that Drake didn't write the verse, he tweeted, When he said the dream girl shit on Rico, I thought he was coming at me, lol. Meek exposed Drake for having a dude named Quentin Miller writing for him. A lot of people started calling Miller a ghostwriter, but he was actually a co-writer because he was mentioned in the writing credits on the tracks he worked on. Drake responded with the track Charged Up and said, Nigga snitching on us without no interrogation. I stay silent because we at war and I'm very patient. Done doing favors for people because it ain't like I need the money I make off a feature. I see you niggas having trouble going gold, turning into some so-and-sos that no one knows. Most rap fans know what happened next. Drake dropped a Grammy-nominated diss track back to back and completely destroyed Meek Mill before he even had a chance to respond to the first diss. They went back and forth over the next year, and the beef was so massive that even Burger King and Whataburger picked sides. It looked like the situation was just going to keep escalating until someone got hurt. But then Meek started getting into legal trouble and everything settled down. In 2018, Meek was released from prison and squashed the beef with Drake. Everyone thought the drama was over, but that was only the beginning. When Meek first started airing Drake out for using writers and reference tracks, nobody knew where he even got the info in the first place. But it turns out, it all started with DJ Drama. Drama's a legend in the game who's known for producing projects like Lil Wayne's dedication tapes and his own Gangsta Grills records. Back around 2014, Drama and Drake linked up to make a Gangsta Grills tape together, but Drake ended up scrapping the project and dropped If You're Reading This It's Too Late instead. Drama was already working with Quentin Miller at the time, and that's allegedly how Miller and Drake linked up too. According to rumors, Drama already had beef with Drake over his ex-wife Summer P. Walker, and that's why Drama leaked the info about Drake's writer to Meek Mill. After the situation started popping off, Drake dropped the track on the plug with Future and said, if you come here trying to take something, there's a lot more where that came from. And it really ain't no thing. I got Summer P in this thing. And what made it even worse for drama is that Summer P tweeted the lyric out. It turns out that Drake might've been hooking up with Summer even before she divorced drama too. Back in 2013, he said, when I got Summer on Michael Kors with my mama's debit, a weak attempt at flexing, I'll never forget it, on the track From Time. Last year, Drama went on the Drink Champs podcast and Nori asked him straight up, Drake smashed your girl. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, which other way I supposed to say it? Fans thought that Drake had sent another shot at Drama in 2016 on the track for free when he rapped, and yeah, I need it all right now. Last year I had Drama Girl, not right now. A lot of people thought he was bragging about hooking up with Drama's girl again. But Drama commented on the Genius page and said that it was all just speculation and that he still sings along to the line at the club. The situation between Drama, Meek, and Drake has been quiet for a long time. And last year, Drama even admitted he could have handled it better on the new Rory and Maul podcast. Everybody did something wrong. Okay. Everybody. Quentin did something wrong. Mm. DJ Drama did something wrong. Drake did something wrong. Meek Mill did something wrong. Everybody played a role. I hope no one takes this the wrong way. And mm -hmm. again, it's water under the bridge. Everyone I named, I love y'all to death. 2022 was also when Drake and Drama officially squashed the beef. Jack Harlow was signed to Drama's Generation Now label, and last year Drake gave him a feature for a second album. Someone on Twitter said they were surprised because of the issues between Drama and Drake. And that's when Drama said, we gotta stop this narrative, LOL. Me and Drake been put that to rest. Grown men shit. They even showed up together in the video for Harlow's track, Churchill Downs. So nobody expected what happened next. Meek and Drama both come from Philly, so nobody was surprised when they were on the same side during the whole Drake situation. But back in February, 
Drama said that Lil Uzi Vert's track, Just Wanna Rock, had taken over as the city's rap anthem. Meek's track, Dreams and Nightmares, has been the city's unofficial anthem for a decade, but Drama thought his artist Lil Uzi had taken the crown. Meek hopped on Twitter and said his track had been lighting the world for 10 years, like shaking rooms for years. Drama didn't respond, but obviously Meek wasn't done there. A couple of weeks ago, he hopped on Twitter and started airing them out for acting like a goofy over these hoes. He posted a screenshot of their text and said he asked Drama why he's always speaking down on them. And in the convo, Drama claimed that Meek's been doing all types of real sucker shit that he hasn't even spoken on. Then Drama posted a screenshot from an interview where he said that Drake is this generation's Jay-Z instead of Meek. Meek clapped back and said Drama's never done anything for the city and he's always getting pressed over women. He ended the rant by accusing Drama of trying to divide and conquer and said that he's the one who started all the issues between Drake and him back in the day. Drama claims that it didn't have anything to do with a woman, but it's pretty suspicious that this is the second time he's beefing with an old homie and the other side says it's over a girl. But unlike the last time it happened, people are getting touched for real instead of just taking shots on social media. On Saturday, Drama had a show at the Century Nightclub in Toronto and allegedly got jumped inside the club after a set. A witness said there was a big fight and that Drama was still gushing blood like 20 minutes later. There hasn't been any footage released of the situation yet, but after it went down, some goons posted a video allegedly showing off the chain they snatched from him. In the video, three dudes all masked up are holding up the ice, and one of them said, This what you get for not checking in shout out boy drizzy eh? triple g's you know how you rock slap blah, blah. drake and drama haven't said anything about the situation yet and it's not clear if drake was really involved or not meek also hasn't said anything about it but even if he knew something about what went down he probably wouldn't air it out on social media for a long time it seemed like the beef between drake meek and drama was dead and in the past but now it's getting crazier than ever out of nowhere but there's a good chance that the goons in the video aren't actually affiliated with Drake, because if he did send hitters at Drama, there's no way he would want his name attached to the situation. Nobody knows who's behind the chain snatching, but Drama's ice is allegedly already on the way back to him. DJ Academics reposted a video of someone showing off Drama's chains in a music studio, and Drake's homie Top 5 hopped in the comments to clown Drama. He wrote, 120k for the chain back, that's a good deal. Top 5 is a rapper and GGG affiliate who's facing a murder charge right now. And he even told academics a couple years ago, if, if somebody that doesn't like Drake comes to the city, we're taking care of that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Top five and GGG being involved definitely makes it seem like Drake could have had something to do with what went down. There aren't a lot of details about the situation available yet, but tap in for updates because news could break any time about the case. And whatever happens next could start a beef that's even bigger than what went down in 2015.